Let's go live now to the Shadow Communications Minister, David Coleman, who joins us from Sydney. A bit to talk about. Let's start, if you, if you don't mind, with the Meta decision to pull out of the deals with media organisations. What have you made of the government's response, the Prime Minister scathing about the selfish response from the multinational? What's your view? Well, Kieran, what matters here is the result, and the government can... Uh, huff and puff uh, all it likes, but the question is, will the government make Meta pay? Now, we did that when in government, and all this boils down to is, will the government require uh, Meta to pay? Because if they don't, if Meta doesn't pay, um, that is a hammer blow for Australian journalism, and there is no question um, that it will lead to very substantial job losses. So expressing empathy is all well and good, but what counts is results. And uh, that's the test for uh, Anthony Albanese. So what steps need to be taken? I know it's a bit of a complex area, but it's, it's basically to designate Meta, is it not? Uh, are there fines as well that might be payable that, that potentially could then be used to help fund the content that that organisation uses for its uh, platform but doesn't want to pay for? Yeah, there's, there's a whole range of steps that can be taken under the media bargaining code. We put that, place, uh, put that in place when in government because we realised that action needed to be taken. And you recall, uh, Kieran, that, you know, Josh Frydenberg went toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, Facebook actually went so far as to uh, turn off news in Australia. And we didn't say, oh, well, you know, that's unfortunate. We said, well, no, you're not, you're not going to get away with that and we're going to put in place uh, this code. So the precise steps that the government takes is really a matter for them. Uh, but, um, you know, simply expressing anger does not pay the wages no. of journalists. Money does. And the question is, is Anthony Albanese uh, strong enough? Because he's basically here effectively going to be in a negotiation with a company that's uh, worth about $2 trillion. And uh, if the government uh, doesn't succeed on this, uh, the people who will be the, uh, pay the price will be Australian journalists. Well, we know that the Assistant Treasurer is uh, seeking information this week from media companies, the major media companies in Australia, to help build the case uh, to, to force Meta into a situation where they do pay for the content they use. So that is an encouraging sign, isn't it? Well, look, the government on Friday basically said um, we're looking into our options and uh, we'll go from there. And I, I thought that was a pretty weak response, to be frank. I think the government should have been much more on the front foot uh, about that so that we didn't end up in this situation of where Meta's uh, made this statement. Um, following an administrative process is, is all well and good, uh, but what companies like Meta respect um, is strength. Is strength. And you're elected to government, uh, you know, not to merely respond to advice from bureaucrats, but to get stuff done, to make things happen. And the thing that needs to happen here is Australian journalism must be paid for uh, online. Um, you know, before I was in politics, Kieran, I, yeah. I was head of digital uh, for Nine and was actually on the board of this company. And this issue um, is something that's uh, been going on for a long time. Uh, to his credit, Josh Frydenberg had the guts and the strength, uh, you know, backed by Scott Morrison and our whole team, uh, to make Meta pay. And expressions of uh, disappointment, uh, you know, little uh, statements of, of anger, uh, Meta will say, so what? Meta will say, well, mm -hmm. if they're not going to make us pay, we're not going to pay. And the only scenario, to be frank here, where Meta will pay for Australian journalism is where the government forces them to. And uh, is the Prime Minister strong enough to make that happen? It very much um, remains to be seen. But, like, I think if you think of an example, Kieran, very practical example, think of ACP magazines. Um, that was a business that employed more than a 1,000 people, uh, most of them journalists. And, of course, that is a tiny, yeah. tiny fraction today of what it used to be. And so that's, uh, that's the path that uh, things will go down here um, if the government doesn't make Meta pay.
David Coleman, Shadow Communications Minister, we very much appreciate your time. And uh, as you say, it remains to be seen. Let's keep uh, a watching brief on that one. Thanks. Thanks, Karen.